Hello, Evans. Welcome to today's session. So we're going to look at what an ecosystem is, recap where they're found in the world, and research that we need to complete for this week. Let's have a look at the lesson. So an ecosystem is a community of living things, so biotic, which are plants and animals, and then non-living or abiotic environments, so soil, air and sunlight, and they all link together and depend on each other. So abiotic are non-living things in our ecosystems. So any of soil, air or sunlight, and biotic factors are living things in our ecosystems, so our plants and animals. And like we've said before, these all link together and depend on each other. If one part of your ecosystem dies out, it will affect and have a knock-on effect on anything else in that ecosystem. So like we saw last lesson, we looked at what ecosystems are found in the world. So we looked at the pole regions or at the ends of our map or at the bottom of our earth. And we've got our deserts, which are generally um, around the Tropic of Cancer and Capricorn. And our rainforests are found along the equator. Now, the task for this week is to get another fact file on a different ecosystem from the one that you completed last week. So, for example, if you picked rainforest last week, you might want to pick desert this week. And the tasks are exactly the same as previous. So, for example, task one, you need to explain why you chose this ecosystem. So, why did you want to look at this one a second time round? Um, and you, you might compare it to the last ecosystem research task you did. So you might, for example, say that last week I looked at rainforests, which has got lots of rain, um, lots of different animals that are adapted to living in the humid and hot climate. And this week I want to have a look at desert where we have very little rain. Task two is where they are located. So you need to tell me exactly where they're located on the planet. So you can try and include longitude and latitudes and put it in relation to the continents that are, they are found on, the countries that have got this ecosystem in their land and any of the main features so like any mountain ranges or major rivers that go through this ecosystem and like you did last week you should try and include a map of where these ecosystems are found for task three you need to describe what it is like so again tell me how big or small the ecosystem is what climate it has the landscape is like and any plants and animals that live in this ecosystem and you might want to include pictures of the different plants and animals or pictures of what the ecosystem looks like. And for task four, again, you need to tell me what people's lives are like there. So what are the advantages and disadvantages of living in this ecosystem and how they have adapted to living in this ecosystem? Have fun researching your second ecosystem. Thank you.